Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so today I figured I'd be doing a deck collection video uh, because, you know, I was supposed to upload the second part of the video series uh, for my, you know, how to create your own card tricks uh, video thing. But, um, you know, I set a deadline for myself. I uploaded the video and then inside or in the video I said I was going to upload the next part, you know, the day after I uploaded it. But uh, I felt like I was being rushed because I, I put a deadline on myself and during the video I just felt like it, was, it felt really hurried and I and I didn't feel like I put enough value into it. So, you know, I wanted to take it slow um, and get a whole bunch of more ideas into it. So, you know, I figured halfway through the week I'd post a deck collection video uh, because, you know, I've you know I've gotten so many comments for this for some reason. Like, this is probably the most thing that's been recommended, and I have no idea why. But, you know, this is going to be kind of quick. Uh, so here we go. Uh, you're going to see here, um, these are like my, my rare decks, like speciality decks, I guess you could say. And, uh, well, this is just an aviator deck. This isn't really nothing special. But these ones I got while I was in Las Vegas. And I went through, like, the casinos. And I got to uh, buy these decks at the um, at the gift shop. So you can see these, these are most of these are made by Aristocrat. Um, these ones are made by, actually, not all of them, but just these two. And I got this one from Treasure Island, I think. Yep. And here's from Mandalay Bay. And I'll just, I'll just take one of them out so you can see they handle really nice. Um, I wouldn't say they're that much better than B. I mean, um, bicycle, but they definitely, they, um, they spread a lot smoother, but they're definitely more stiff. So you can spread them out and, and they're, they spread really nicely, but they are a little bit stiff, uh, cause they're generally made for like poker and playing actual card games, not like card magic. So, um, you know, that's why bicycle is a little bit more convenient. They're just a little bit easier to do tricks with. I, I would say bicycle is so. Uh, you can see here I have two decks. They're both made by B, and these ones I got at um, at uh, Imperial Palace here. And the cool thing is, is that as you can see, there's little punctures or there's little holes in them. And you know, I think I uploaded a video. I think it was slop. And uh, everyone commented, you know, why was there holes in the cards? People would like make up their own assumptions. They'd be like, oh, the, oh, I saw your, I saw that card. You knew it was mine because it had the hole in it. Well, no, they all have holes in it. They all have little things. And that's because, um, let's say you go to a casino and you buy this deck from the gift shop, right? And then you take this deck and you, you're you playing a card game and you reach in your pocket and you grab the card you need. Well, you can't use it in the game because it has a hole, as a little puncture. So the dealer knows when you're cheating. So uh, that's just why they you know put those there. It's kind of cool. And uh, this is the same, same deck, just red. So you guys already saw that. And then uh, let's go put this away. And you can see here I got this from the Hard Rock Casino. And these are uh, these are pretty much the same as well. You can see what this, the design looks like. These ones don't spread as smoothly as the other ones. These ones are I don't necessarily they're Paulson playing cards, so these ones aren't as smooth as the Aristocrats, but they have more of like a, a plastic type feel. Uh, but it's not a low quality plastic. It does spread really nicely, but I would say they're way too stiff to be doing card tricks. So I'm, you know, I might use a video or I might make a video using these. I'm not exactly sure, but they're just not really convenient for card tricks. And you can see the red ones exactly the same too. So you know, that's just kind of you know my Las Vegas decks. And then over here, I actually have a Chicago Bears deck. As you guys know, my channel name is Hester Twenty Three Bears CH. It was kind of like named after um, a Chicago Bears player, but he doesn't play Chicago Bears anymore, so it doesn't make any sense. But uh, anyways. It's just a cool novelty novelty type deck. Um, the, it's not really it's it's really low quality, but you know it's cool to have. You know the design looks kind of cool, and uh, you know the stuff here looks pretty nice. All the pips and stuff it looks okay. It's nice and vibrant, but you know it's a really cool thing just to have like sitting on my desk. You know it's a, it's a nice decoration. So, and over here is just the main bulk of the cards I have. You can see, look, these are all unwrapped. Um, let me just take these over here. These are all the decks. These are pretty much all the bicycle decks that I have here. You can see most of them are unwrapped. I mean, they're all wrapped. But oh, and you can see here I have a this is standard pack of regular B cards. But I don't usually use these too much because they don't have the white borders that bicycle decks do. So I don't really use this one that much. But uh, yeah, here are all the decks I have. And if you're wondering, uh, I posted a video called Lie Detector, and this was the deck I used. It's called the Nautic Back. So. Um, 
for all of those, all of you guys looking for, you know, where to buy this. I actually got this at Walmart, believe it or not. But you can just look it up on Amazon or something. So, you know, this is just my, my uh, these are all the decks I have, pretty much, um, including the Las Vegas ones. So, you know, I might do, I might do a deck giveaway. I hopefully, I mean, hopefully that's something I can do. Because, you know, it'd be pretty cool to, like, interact with you guys and send you guys decks. Stuff like that. Um, so yeah, this is just a quick deck collection video. Uh, I hope everybody liked it, and um, you know, stay tuned because I am be posting that the second part of the video series uh, coming up over the weekend. And uh, you know, as always, guys, thanks for watching.